The number of animals in the world is astoundingly huge. Some are cute, fluffy, and adorable. Some are just plain old nasty. But some of them can really be the stuff of nightmares. From an alligator killing Goliath fish to a puckered up red lipped fish, here are 20 weird animals that will give you the chills. Number 20 Sawfish. Sawfish have a saw like snout that may reach up to 2 meters, making them one of the most recognizable rays. Sawfish are one of the world's most endangered species of fish. To preserve the sawfish, we need to put in place greater protections and decrease fishing pressure. In fact, sawfish are a type of ray and not a fish. Rays, unlike sharks, have gills on the underside of their bodies, while sharks have gills on the sides. As the name implies, freshwater sawfish are the only sawfish that live in fresh water. They've been discovered as far interior as 800 kilometers south of Darwin's coastal metropolis, and indigenous Australians have portrayed them nearby in rock art. All other sawfish migrate upstream to the tidal regions where the water is still somewhat saline. Their rostrums, which is the scientific name for their saws, are utilized for defense, detection, and cutting up food like other fish. Sawfish fins are among the most costly in the fin trade, with a set selling for at least $4,000 and their saws fetching $100 as trophies or curios. Sawfish have lost more than half of their habitat on the planet. For four of the world's five species, Australia serves as a lifeboat. Because of its remoteness and largely unspoiled shoreline, Northern Australia is home to one of the remaining viable populations. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Dragonfish the deep sea dragonfish, also known as the scaleless dragonfish, is a vicious predator that lives in the world's deepest seas and possesses enormous teeth in comparison to its body size. Despite its horrific look, it's a tiny fish that only measures around 6 inches in length. Dragonfish come in a variety of shapes and sizes, all of them having a similar look. The deep sea dragonfish is one of several deep sea fish species that can generate their own light via a chemical process called bioluminescence. A specific organ called a photophore produces the light, and these flashing lights are thought to be used by the fish to attract food and perhaps indicate prospective mates in the dark seas. Photophores may also be seen on the sides of the dragonfish's body. The dragonfish is believed to catch the attention of its prospective prey by flashing on and off and waving it back and forth, while the dragonfish's enormous teeth aid in the capture of its food as it hunts in the deep sea's murky waters. Due to the fact that many of its meals emit light, the dragonfish has developed a unique technique of staying concealed from predators after it eats. To keep the lights hidden while its food is processed, the walls of its stomach are dark. Number 18. Pangolin Pangolins have thick protective keratin scales covering their skin that are similar in a substance to fingernails and toenails and are the only known animals with the characteristic. The pangolin's scaled body resembles a pine cone in form, and when attacked, it may curl up into a ball using its overlapping scales as armor, shielding its face by tucking it beneath its tail. The scales are razor sharp, offering additional protection against predators, and depending on the species, they dwell in hollow trees or burrows. Pangolins are nocturnal, feeding mostly on ants and termites, which they catch with their long tongues. They are solitary creatures that only come together to mate and produce a litter of one to three pups, which they nurture for approximately two years. Poaching and severe deforestation of their native habitats endanger pangolins, making them the world's most trafficked animals. There are eight pangolin species whose conservation 
vaccination status is classified as endangered as of January of 2020. On the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species, three are severely endangered, three are endangered, and two are vulnerable. Number 17. AA AAs are exclusively found on Madagascar's island, and although these unusual creatures may not seem to be primates at first, they're linked to chimps, apes, and humans. AAs have a bushy tail that's longer than their body and are dark brown or black in color. They also have huge, sensitive ears, slender fingers, and wide eyes. Except for their opposable big toes, which allow them to hang from trees, AAs have sharp claws on all of their fingers and toes. AAs spend their lives in the rainforest trees, avoiding contact with humans. They're nocturnal, spending the day wrapped up in a ball of leaves and branches. In the forks of big trees, the nests look as closed spheres with single entrance holes. The AA taps on trees with its extended middle finger, while poised above, listening for wood-boring bug larvae moving under the bark. It fishes them out with the same middle finger. The finger may also be used to scoop the flesh out of coconuts and other fruits, which help the animal supplement its insect diet. The AA is seen to be a bad omen by many Madagascar natives, and as a result, they're often murdered on sight. The combination of such poaching and habitat degradation has placed AA's numbers in jeopardy. Now, they're legally protected. Number 16. Magnificent Frigate Bird The Magnificent Frigate Bird has long, angular wings and are big seabirds. Their tail is deeply forked and often kept closed in a point. With a conspicuously hooked tip, the bill is long and robust. Females and young birds have variable amounts of white on the head, breast, and their belly, and females have a black head and a white chest. Juveniles have a white head and belly at first, and then progressively develop darker heads. A light tan stripe may also be seen on the top wing of young birds. Breeding males are completely black, with the exception of a bright red neck pouch that isn't usually visible. Beautiful frigate birds fly over the sea on extended wings, their heads pulled into their shoulders, and they only flap their wings on rare occasions. But when they do, the wing beats are slow and deep. Despite being an ocean bird, they don't dive for fish. Instead, they skim fish off the water's surface or pursue other birds, compelling them to abandon their recent meal. Throughout the Americas, magnificent frigate birds fly over tropical and subtropical seas and nest amid low-growing scrub vegetation on islands while foraging in lagoons as well as far out to sea. Number 15. Snub-nosed monkeys The snub-nosed monkey may be found in northern Myanmar and Yunnan province in southern China near Myanmar's border and is separated from other similar species by the Mekong and Salween rivers. The species is classified as critically endangered, with an estimated population of just 260 to 330 individuals. The ear tufts, chin beard, and perennial region of the Myanmar snub-nosed monkey are nearly completely black with just splotches of white. It also has a lengthy tail that's almost one and a half the length of its body, and these monkeys are said to be easy to spot in the rain because they often catch rainwater in their raised nostrils, causing them to sneeze. Summer months are spent in mixed temperate woods at higher elevations. In the winter, when snowfall makes food less available, they move closer to settlements. The Myanmar snub-nosed monkey is under threat with increasing logging and development, including one of Asia's biggest hydropower development projects, putting pressure on its forest habitat. Number 14. Goliath Tigerfish when your name is Goliath, you'd better be a colossal vicious beast, and the Goliath tigerfish more than lives up to its name. It's the biggest member of the tigerfish clan, a genus of ferocious carnivores with projecting dagger-like teeth that's endemic to Africa's Congo River Basin, Lualaba River, Lake Upemba, and Lake Tanganyika. The largest known was almost 5 feet long and weighed 154 pounds, making it the size of a super welterweight prize fighter.
According to locals, it's the only fish that doesn't fear crocodiles and even eats them. It's so fast and powerful that it not only snaps an angler's line, but it also steals his or her tackle on occasion. If you happen to come across one, you'll definitely remember its mouthful of 32 jagged razor-like teeth, each tooth may be as long as an inch. The fangs of the goliath are placed at the jaw's edge, and the monster has no lips. It's a crisp, almost surgical cut as those teeth slam down on their prey. These features, coupled with the goliath's powerful build, make it a cutting-edge mayhem machine. It prefers choppy waters, where fish with weaker swimming abilities struggle against the tide, leaving them susceptible to attack. It has exceptional vision and the capacity to detect prey's low-frequency vibrations. It usually circles the unfortunate fish before attacking with piranha-like ferocity. A 60-pound catfish has been reported to be pounced on and sliced in two by the Goliath. Number 13. The Purple Frog the purple frog, also known as the pig-nosed frog, spends most of its existence underground, only surfacing for a few days each year to mate during the onset of the monsoons. In the purple frog's family genus, the purple frog is one of the only two species. This family is only found on India's western Ghats, where it's evolved on its own for the last 100 million years. Following the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana, the two groups are believed to have had a common ancestor who was then separated on distinct landmasses. The tadpoles have specialized sucker-like mouthparts that they utilize to cling to the algae-covered rocks where they eat, allowing them to survive in torrents. Locals eat the tadpoles, which are utilized for medicinal reasons with the adult frogs. In certain cultures, children are given a frog amulet to wear in order to help them cope with their dread of storms. This species is little understood, although it has highly particular nesting grounds. It is susceptible to habitat loss and change because of its specialized breeding biology, and the majority of purple frog breeding sites are located outside of the protected area network, with some breeding sites having been harmed by check dams built to regulate water flow during severe monsoons. Number 12. The Goblin Shark the goblin shark was first documented in 1898, although it had previously been known to Japanese fishermen as Tengu Zam. Tengu being a legendary goblin with an unusually long nose who resembled Pinocchio, but it stole children instead of teaching them not to lie like Geppetto. The shark, which can grow up to 12 and a half feet long, travels at depths of over 4,000 feet, but each new specimen adds to our understanding of its remarkable deep sea adaptations. The most striking feature is, of course, its protruding jaws, which are filled with needle-like teeth that are designed to capture rather than slice. Because the jaw is hung by ligaments and cartilage rather than being connected to the skull, sharks may project their jaws in this way. The goblin shark takes this to the next level with a jaw that seems to be attempting to break free from the animal's face. Number 11. Venezuelan Poodle Moth The internet has been buzzing with a picture of a fuzzy moth nicknamed the Poodle Moth. When I initially viewed the image, I thought it looked more like an Ewok with wings or a fluffy tiny bunny more than a poodle. Many individuals, including entomologists, have questioned whether or not it's true. Arthur Anker, a biologist from some place I can't pronounce, took the photograph during a trip to Venezuela. Anker acknowledged that it was genuine, but claimed that he had never seen one before and didn't know what kind it was. I'm not really a huge insects person, but if I had to pet an insect, I would totally pick this little poodle moth. Does it still give me chills? Absolutely. But gosh darn it, if this little guy isn't the fluffiest little thing. As long as it doesn't fly right at me or something, all will be cool. Number 10. The Brazilian Treehopper 
This tiny weirdo is nothing short of a miracle. It seems to be a helicopter insect from another world. That's why we like it so much. Tree hoppers are cicadas cousins and can be found on every continent except Antarctica and have over 3,000 different types of species. The helmet, which comes in a range of fascinating forms and sizes, is their most distinctive feature. Our Brazilian tree hopper's remarkable antenna like spherical helmet is definitely eye catching. While they resemble eyeballs, they're just decorative, and experts are unsure of their purpose. They believe that it may serve as a deterrent to predators or even offer extrasensory information. Aside from appearing like an extraterrestrial insect, the tree hopper is a pretty ordinary little guy. It leads to a lonely existence in the trees, eating leaves. Isn't it crazy? Number 9. The Blue Dragon the blue glaucus, also known as the blue dragon, sea swallow, or blue angel, is brilliantly colorful and may be found in temperate and tropical seas across the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. This species, like other nudibranchs, absorbs poisonous compounds or stinging cells from its prey into its own skin. The blue glaucus has a defensive mechanism against predation thanks to this capacity. This species, unlike other similar sea slugs, may be found throughout the water column. The slug is kept aloft by an air bubble stored in its stomach, and the brilliant blue hue mixes well with the bright sea surface, hiding the animals from predators below. This is an example of countershading, which assists the animal in avoiding both flying and swimming predators while floating in open waters. The blue dragon, like other sea slug species, is not poisonous in and of itself, and it retains the stinging nematocytes produced by the prey's famously long poisonous tentacles and these tentacles may be up to 30 feet long. The stinging cells are kept and concentrated so that when the blue dragon is threatened or touched, it can unleash them to produce a much more powerful sting than the Portuguese man-o-war can alone. Like other nudibranchs, the blue dragon is also a hermaphrodite, meaning it produces both eggs and sperm and can mate with itself. Number 8. Giant Isopod Giant isopods are the biggest crustaceans and the largest known member of the isopod family, a crustacean group that includes shrimp and crabs. Terrestrial crustaceans like the pill bug or roly-poly are linked to the gigantic isopod. A giant isopod's huge size is due to a phenomenon known as deep-sea gigantism or abyssal gigantism, which occurs when deep-sea creatures develop to a considerably bigger size than other similar species in shallower seas. Giant isopods like pill bugs may curl up into a ball when attacked, leaving just the strong outer shell exposed and the delicate and vulnerable inside covered. While gigantic isopods spend most of their time foraging for food on the deep seabed, they're capable of free swimming and gliding throughout the water. Given that some have been discovered at 170 meters, vertical migration is a possibility. For protection, they burrow into the silt and are constantly in a sort of mini-hibernation. They restrict their usage of energy required for locomotion and respiration since they don't know when they'll be able to feed again. Number 7. Cereal Leaf Beetle In wheat and agriculture in general, the cereal leaf beetle may be a troublesome pest. Cereal leaf beetles hibernate throughout the winter and emerge in the spring, when they may infest winter and spring wheat. Larvae and adults may cause severe crop damage during their reproduction cycles, and biological management has been especially successful in decreasing the number of cereal leaf beetles. CLB larvae and adults eat the veins of the host plant's newest leaf, with the greatest harm being caused by larvae removing large strips from the top leaf section while leaving the bottom side totally untouched. This feeding habit results in a unique frosted look on the leaves and crops. Damaged leaf tips often become white, creating a frost damaged look in highly infected areas. Adults will just chew through the leaf entirely, leaving tiny holes, but the harm they inflict is generally minor. Irrigated spring wheat yield losses of 25% have been recorded in Washington state. Crop vigor, as well as the timing and duration of the CLB infection affect yield loss. Stressed growth circumstances or plants that aren't fully grown may raise the risk of harm. Number 6. 
the blobfish. To be honest, I believe that drooping blobfish up there is holding up quite well given everything it's gone through. The blobfish is a deep water fish that lives between 2,000 and 4,000 feet under the seas off the coast of Australia. The pressure is up to 120 times greater underneath than on the surface. You wouldn't want to be down there unless you had a powerful submarine with you. The blobfish, on the other hand, despises being up here. Many fish have swim bladders, which are air sacs in their bodies that help them move and remain buoyant. And when you take fish with swim bladders out of their native environments, the air sac in their bladders may expand as they ascend. There's a chance that their insides may be forced out via their mouth due to the inflation of their air sac killing them. See what we mean when we say the blobfish is doing fine? Because the blobfish lacks a swim bladder, its stomach must remain within its body, but it doesn't imply that it can withstand the elements. The blobfish doesn't have a skeleton and is devoid of muscle, so it's sagging and drooping up above the surface of the water, but it would be dead if it didn't have this specific makeup. Up. Number 5. Star-Nosed Mole A star-nosed mole is unquestionably one of the strangest looking creatures on the planet. You'd assume its head had been replaced by a small octopus if you came face to face with one. This American species is also very fast for an animal that's virtually blind. It is the world's quickest eater, capable of locating and devouring an insect or worm in less than a quarter of a second. The furry, tiny carnivore bobs its head constantly as it plows through wet soils. Sight is ineffective in the mole's dark subterranean habitat, so instead it senses a world pulsating with prey. The mole searches by rapidly bopping its star on the earth. In a single second, it may touch 10 or 12 distinct locations. It does seem to be random, but in fact, it's not. There are 100,000 nerve fibers that provide information to the mole's brain with each contact. That's five times the number of touch sensors in a human hand, all crammed into a nose the size of a fingertip. It's also one of only two creatures in the world that can smell underwater by blowing air bubbles into its nose and sucking them back in. A massive star pattern implanted in the brain's architecture mimics the odd nose of the mole, and every time the mole pushes its star into the earth, it generates a star-shaped vision of its surroundings, which the mole's brain puts together like a jigsaw puzzle. Number 4. The Red-Lipped Batfish Darwin would be proud of this fish. In fact, the red-lipped batfish bears his name. This unique fish has a number of modifications that cause it to appear and behave in ways that are uncharacteristic of fish. To begin with, its pectoral pelvic and tail fins are changed to let it rest on the sea bottom. It has the ability to walk on its pectoral and pelvic fins in certain instances. The modified dorsal fin, which mimics the lures of closely related angler fishes, is the second significant change. The red-lipped batfish is most frequently seen in the Galapagos Islands' deep waters. Around Cocos Island, batfish like the rosy-lipped batfish may be found. This batfish prefers deep waters as its home. This fish may be found at depths of more than 100 feet, although it's not common. While it has been reported that people have found a few of these fishes in California fishing nets, these sightings are very rare and may very well be a separate but similar batfish species. Number 3. Gharial the critically endangered gharial is a distinct crocodile that's on the verge of extinction. It has long, narrow jaws that it uses to capture fish, and males have a huge, bulbous protrusion on the tip of their nose known as a gara. The gara is named after the traditional Indian pot and serves as the source for the species' popular name, gharial. Gharials are the only crocodiles that have such a clear distinction between males and females. These huge crocodiles were formerly common across the Indian subcontinent, but are today limited to as few as five highly fragmented and impoverished populations in India and Nepal. Gharials were long thought to be the only members of their species, but new evidence 
evidence suggests that another species, the false gharial, is also a member of the family. Gharials and false gharials had a common ancestor about 20 million years ago, and they separated from all other crocodilians more than 40 million years ago. This was about the same period when humans and capuchin and squirrel monkeys had a common ancestor. Unfortunately though, these one-of-a-kind crocodiles face a slew of risks to their survival. Damming of rivers throughout their range is substantially changing the environment, and since gharials can't walk on land like other crocodilians, they can't easily spread to other waterways. Increased agricultural and grazing pressure also has a damaging effect on the gharials' breeding and basking habitat. Number 2. Dumbo Octopus Dumbo octopuses are a genus of deep-sea umbrella octopuses with fins that resemble Dumbo, the elephant's ears. There are at least 15 species of Dumbo octopuses, and their limbs, like those of all umbrella octopuses, are linked by a web of skin, giving them the appearance of umbrellas when split out. Dumbo octopuses dwell in the deep open ocean to depths of at least 13,100 feet and perhaps considerably deeper, making them the deepest living octopuses yet discovered. Living at these great depths requires the capacity to survive in very cold water and total darkness, and because Dumbo octopuses are naturally uncommon and the deep sea is vast, they've developed specific behaviors to improve their chances of successfully reproducing once they locate a partner. Females are able to retain sperm for extended periods of time after mating with a man, and they carry eggs at various stages of development. Female Dumbo octopuses may utilize these advantages to transport sperm to their best developed eggs at any time when the environmental circumstances are favorable for reproduction. Dumbo octopuses deposit their eggs on the seabed, clinging to rocks or other hard objects, despite spending most of their life hanging above the sea floor. Number 1. Yeti Crabs a group of experts from across the world recently reported the discovery of a new species of blind deep-sea crab with long, light yellow hairs on its legs. Marine scientists using the research submersible Alvin to investigate hydrothermal vents along the Pacific Antarctic Ridge south of Easter Island first discovered this crab in March of 2005. The legendary Yeti, the abominable snowman of the Himalayas, was given the moniker Yeti Crab because of its hairy legs. The Yeti crab was found when a group of French scientists organized a trip to the Southeast Pacific. The expedition's main aim was to figure out how bottom-dwelling creatures from one deep-sea hydrothermal vent may colonize hydrothermal vents hundreds or even thousands of kilometers elsewhere. The group of scientists investigated this by comparing the DNA of creatures from hydrothermal vents throughout the Pacific Ocean. The Yeti crab's feathery hairs are coated with thick colonies of this weird sticky bacteria. Scientists believe that the Yeti may be able to grow and consume these germs itself. One of the leaders of the expedition spotted an abnormally big crab with hairy limbs hiding on the seabed during one of the submarine dives. He then requested that the submarine pilots grab the crab and return it to the surface. During future dives, the team spotted more of these strange crabs. The crabs were mostly found at depths of 2,200 meters near recent lava flows and places where warm water was leaking out of the sea bottom. The amount of crazy, strange-looking animals in the world is really incredible. It's a nice reminder of how wild and alien our planet Earth really is. It's lists like these that make me so thankful for the wonderful planet that we live on and helps remind me to treat it with respect. Which of these animals was the weirdest to you? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.